New and welcome. This is your Funky Onky. Let's play Fallout New Vegas DLC Honest Hearts Blind! Episode 16. In this one, we're going to see what the fuck is up with this one. Important. Vera, read. Here's the compass, and I hope you realize my last words meant to you. So they've led you here, and this place will keep you safe. I know that they meant to be here. I feel they've trapped. They trapped me here. I have extricated the previous entry, or extracted the previous entry after our conversation tonight. It can't have been easy for you, and I am sorry for all I put you through in silence. I know while you do not love me, you did not mean any malice in what you did. I knew about your plans to rob the casino with Dean. Oh, no shit. Before you told me. Hearing it from you didn't make it any easier. For what it's worth, I'm glad you told me yourself and I understood the tapes he had in his possession. I do not think either one of you realize what your addiction stemmed from, however, and that is the tragedy in this. I suspect the world would not have believed you regardless, so I respect your desire to keep it from others. When first building this villa, this casino, I meant it for you. As the world seemed to race headlong toward war, it became part of my desire to protect you. The loans, the funding I poured into the casino's construction, I knew it would not matter when war came for us. It was my means of creating a shelter, a defense, if the world was bombarded in radiation and bombs. When Dean revealed his plans inadvertently through our introduction, I realized what had happened and how I had been tricked. For a time, my thoughts were dark. I changed the casino vault from a shelter to a trap, as I knew the first one to enter would be Dean. He would die down here and would have been by his own hand. I fear, however, that I overstepped myself, and the only safe place in the casino is the vault. I have tried to rewire the systems, change the protocols, and I cannot. I will do one last check on the pipes by the edge of the outside platform and see if anything can be done. I fear it is useless. If you come down here, do not access my personal accounts entry. It contains only a message for Dean, and it will seal the door, and you will have no way out. Even the elevator is designed to automatically return when the door is closed, and it will lock in place. There should be enough in the vault to sustain you until help arrives. I have ensured that there is enough medical supplies down there to keep you comfortable. The hologram should defend the casino from any attackers, and the hologram beacon in the villa will broadcast an emergency signal so that others will know that you are here. When danger has passed, rescue will come. I hope you were able to read this and know that I loved you, Frederick Sinclair. Huh. So if I click on that, Dean will read it. You. You're in the vault, finally. After all this time. The Sierra Madre. Mine. Don't move. Don't go into the vault, and don't touch anything else. There may be more traps down there. Yeah. Another security Um, I'm kind of in the middle of recording. Um, Ellis? Yes. Sorry. I'm still hiding behind images and screens, I see. Hiding? Hardly. Trapped. You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I did it. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your pit boy signal came to life in the villa. Then, then, uh, things changed. And here you are. You got a lot to answer for, motherfucker. Do I? For what? Your greed, curiosity. You came here on your own. No one held a gun to your head. No, but they did have I've a seen bomb to my throat. Archives, your map markers and notes. You picked up the Sierra Madre signal just as I did. You couldn't resist. So if you feel I have a lot to answer for, no, the blame isn't on my shoulders. Might as well have put the collar on yourself. How'd you ask to ask my pit boy? You speak as if your fingers have never touched the keys of a Robco terminal. No 
machine is foolproof. They are designed to obey us. The pip boiler operating system has vulnerabilities, advantages to those who've studied its construction, even superficially. It's just a machine, though. Its real vulnerability is who wears it. And that's how you were caught. What you mean? That thing on your wrist. It's a convenience. It tells you where to go, what to do. Dulls your brain. It may have helped you find the Sierra Madre broadcast, but it's just as much a crutch today as it was in the old world. No. Before this goes any further, I had questions. Curious? You must be. We have time now that you've done your work. And our interactions have been too one-sided, even for my tastes. So, yeah, why do you care about this place? What do I want? Weapons. Security. A citadel of my own. The Madre is all these things. It's a fortress. A weapon. A chance to begin again. Once I unlock its archives, I can carve the Mojave into any shape I choose. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. The cloud is unique in my travels. Its proximity to the Sierra Madre isn't a coincidence. Right now it protects this casino, preserves it. It can be used to preserve other old world relics and cleanse them at the same time. And as much as I've researched hologram technology, the big empty facility was clear. Only the Sierra Madre got holograms working properly. Seriously? The holograms here kill trespassers. That's what I want. Dump one of those emitters in the middle of any battle, there's no defense. It's like holding light in your hands. Can fight it. Only watch it burn. Just one is a portable army. Arm it. Anyone stands against you dies. That's all you want? No, there's one last thing I want from the Sierra Madre. It's bounty. The machines that fill its streets, its corridors. They provide, provide almost anything. Perhaps in the pre-war era, they were commonplace, things to dismiss. Now they are far more valuable. You know it. They helped keep you alive. Can't argue with that. <laughs> That's awesome! Sources of food. Supplies, medical assistance, ammo, make more callers, even print currency. Make a nation. The cloud allows me to wipe the slate clean. Callers ensure cooperation. Holograms, defense. The vending machines provide everything else. The Sierra Madre can kill nations and build them, using its technology with the right applications. Hmm. Uh, righteous indignation. You think I'm a murderer? If I was, I'd have set off your collar long ago. A collar ensures compliance, encourages cooperation. Think about it. Would you truly have gotten into the casino without those collars? No. Human nature is against us, always. Did you know that I had to keep adjusting the collars, keep changing the rules to make this moment possible? What's you talking about, Elijah? Every time, even with callers clutched at their necks, they would betray each other, kill each other to get inside the Sierra Madre. It... It was insanity. They could have had it all. It was so close. And... And they kept turning on each other, again and again. Cracking the Sierra Madre was difficult. But cracking greed, that was more difficult. So the dead man switches with in. So you answered madness with madness. When your life is tied to another's sacrifice and cooperation, they can be conditioned, learned, and you can focus on the matter at hand. Greed can be beaten, contained, controlled. You know it better than anyone, or I hope you do. 
It doesn't matter. Oh! No. Uh, how'd you get here ain't here again? Everyone asks that. Should be asking how they plan on leaving. It only takes putting a collar on one to begin the chain. One with the collar may chain another, and that one another had traps all over the wastes. The chain ends with a super mutant. Although with him, the collar wasn't even necessary. He only needed guidance. We already know who put the collar on me. The mutant. Yeah. <laughs> he swallowed one of the collars. After that, he was mine. The collar wasn't even necessary. All his kind, they exist to be given orders. They're soldiers, simple, stupid. Not anymore. I asked him to fetch, and he did, even without the threat of death. Even when I stopped speaking to him, he continued to leave the villa, gather victims from the man traps out of habit. He must have found you in one of them. If so, he's probably forgotten. He only remembers my voice. He put the collar on you, dragged you here, because he doesn't know any better. It's in his nature, greedy and childlike. Uh-huh. Dog? Huh. Appropriate. It's what I called him. You've met him. You know why he forgot. His brain was ruined by FEV. His memory wreckage. He may know the way back somewhere. Deep down, I doubt it. He tracks by smell and instinct. Still, he could be trained. So, is there a way out of here? Of course. I walked all this way. If you're worried, I'll give you a map back or show you the way out when this is all over. Um, do I have other Ask. questions? You still have time. The fuck? Is he behind me? It started with a setback. Huh. Fires, blood. Beneath the sun. A sun so close you could touch it. Moments like that, however, failures, can provide the brightest clarity. And then? After that, I wandered alone. Saw the storms of the divide. Walked among the ciphers of the West. Traveled to the big empty. I heard the signal. The woman's voice, the Sierra Madre, promising a chance to begin again. Reverse my fortunes. What's the big empty? All nonsense. I Great tracked place. the signal. Came here. Sculpted the city, using other hands. Kept dying on me, killing each other. You. You got the farthest of all. Where did you get the collars? The collars? They're pre-war tech. I suspect this great land had compliance issues before the war. It's one of a series of models. The one in your neck? Special. Easier to make adjustments. Unreliable in other ways. Notably radio interference. Yeah, I noticed that. Where'd you get them? A place far from here called the Big Empty. The fuck's the Big Almost Empty? Didn't make it out. There were two others there. A woman. And a man. A courier. The woman was familiar. The other? I don't know what happened to them. Yeah, what the fuck's the Big Empty? Big Empty's a treasure box. A scientific graveyard of old world misery. Like the Sierra Madre, there's treasures there. Sleeping. Some awake. The holo rifle, the Saturnite alloy, the hologram technology, hibernation chambers, securitrons, the collars. Even the suits attached to those things stalking the villa. That's only the surface of what's there. Right now, the Sierra Madre is hmm. what I want. Oh, you know what? I bet you the big empty is. Um, oh, shit. What's that base? NORAD. I bet you it's NORAD. So, you coming down? No. 
I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No. Not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. Mm. You? You're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time. More than you. Mm -hmm. Besides, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. Well, you're a douchebag. I don't care if I am playing as a good guy. I'm not fucking cooperating. No, I don't think so. It'd most likely trigger other security measures. If you hurt the vault at all. The builder of the casino built it to last. The Sierra Madre withstood the war. I'm sure the vault is protected as well. Besides, you wouldn't have followed the signal if you didn't want this place's secrets for your own. You're curious. Past the threats. Hmm. Well, I'm obviously not going with explosives. Eh, the elevator's only a single control box. The elevator? Then you'd be trapped for certain. No probability of escape. Having you wait up there forever with no way down sounds more appealing all the time. Even... Even if you damage the mechanism, there's a chance of repairing it. It might take years, but it's possible. Persist in threatening me or the Sierra Madre secrets. You're of no use to me. I'll set off your collar now. Sure. Well, there's a noticeable lag of several seconds for the scholar to go off, and a warning. Huh. Clever. Oh, I've designed the Thank Sierra it. Madre. Their obsession with messing with frequencies and signals. I'm coming down. I'll meet you face to face at the vault entrance. If you resist, I'll use the collar even if it puts the vault at risk. Defeat Elijah. Yeah, motherfucker, how you like those turrets, bitch? And they're aimed at me! Seeing what I can do to shut those turrets down from up here. Come no, on. don't! I'm using them on Elijah! Two of them down. Shh. Can't shut down the others. He's cut off access. Damn it. Put him down. Bury him. Whatever it takes. Alrighty. Can I use these now? Uh, yes! Time is against you. It always will. Sup, motherfucker? Good. Okay, so 
What don't I need? Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Uh, yeah, get rid of those. Get rid of all that. Keep the Kodak. I like having the Kodak. Get rid of those. Yes. Um, keep the detonator. Ditch that, ditch that, ditch that. Ditch, 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 ditch. And I'll keep that with the hell. Ditch, ditch. Ditch all those. Definitely ditch that, ditch that, ditch that, ditch that, ditch that. I'll keep the hollow rifle since it's unique. Um... That doesn't even compare in weight to the gold, what the gold's worth. I'm going to keep Father Elijah's robes as a, uh, I have two of them. Huh. Anything else to ditch? Yeah, ditch, ditch all those. Yeah, ditch all those. I can always find more. And grab as much gold as you fucking can! <laughs> wow, that, that filled up pretty quick. Damn! And I don't have any... Oh, I can get buff out. I can buy buff out. Except it's over there. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Buff out. Just one. Six. All I can take is six. Wow, despite ditching all that crap. All right, let's go. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm dead. Oh, Christ. When's it going to load from? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, when's it going to load from? Oh, I get to sit through all that. You're not going to sit through all that. I'm going to blast through it in between episodes. We're going to, I'm going to start, fire it back up again. And I'm going to, you know, take, pick up these gold bars. I need 10,000 caps apiece. <laughs> so, yeah, this has been your Funky Onky with Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. DLC Honest Hearts. Blind. Stay tuned for episode 17, where we're going to have the climactic rush to get the fuck out of here. And I hope you'll see me next time.